a former South Carolina soldier shot and killed an active duty soldier, his own two children and a stepchild on Tuesday before taking his own life. Sumter police chief said that Charles Slack Jr., 42 years of age, entered his ex-wife's home, which he co-owned, using a key at around 10 p.m. He found his former wife, Aletha Holiday, in the backyard speaking with a co-worker, later identified as 38-year-old Sergeant Major Carlos Evans. Slack's shot Sergeant Major Carlos Evans. Then he went inside and shot and killed the three children as they slept. The children were identified as Aiden Holiday Slacks, five years of age, Aeson Holiday Slacks, six years of age, and Ava Holiday, 11 years of age. Slacks was the father of the two younger children. Aletha Holiday headed upstairs following her former husband after he had shot Sergeant Major Carlos Evans, but she backed away when he turned the gun on her. Aletha Holiday's phone was was charging upstairs so she went back outside to search for Sergeant Major Carlos Evans phone so that she could call for police. Here's a quote from an officer. She goes back outside of the residence where the first individual had been shot in search of his cell phone but she wasn't able to locate that. Then she hears several gunshots. Aletha Holiday ran back inside and encountered Slacks at the top of the stairs where he had taken his own life. She checked on the children. Tragically she found all of them dead. Three children all hers to shared with the killer her ex-husband sergeant major carlos evans was taken to hospital tragically he later died he was the command sergeant major for headquarters and headquarters battalion of the, the u.s army central according to court records aletha holiday and charles slacks were officially divorced march the 2nd less than a month ago so those are the full details that i could find in the article that i went through an absolute tragedy an active soldier shot and killed three children children that's the really heartbreaking part you know forgive me it's all heartbreaking but and then the scumbag ex-husband shooter takes his own life i got no problem with that part i do question what would motivate someone to do this i mean presumably heartache but that's a bit of a vague thing isn't it so ultimately mental illness why are people so fragile i mean i believe charles slacks jr i think i read perhaps i've got this part wrong but i think he was a serving officer before yeah there, there we go a former a South Carolina soldier. So he's not a snowflake. Divorces take a while. They go through a process. Surely he would have had time to digest and come to terms with the situation of the collapse of his marriage. Seemingly he was heartbroken by the end of the marriage and I guess the distance between himself and his own two children. And I believe the elder child, Ava Holiday, was his stepdaughter. So really his three children, if I understand correctly. What can we learn from this? Not a lot really, I guess. Not a lot. Some people will point to the accessibility of guns. Some will argue about the unfairness to men in divorce proceedings. Don't know if that's relevant or not. So others will point to mental illness, which uh, I think really ultimately that is where the problems lie. Full condolences to all of the family. The mother, the ex-wife, Aletha Holiday. Her life has just been shredded, shredded. Um, she's going to find it very difficult to move forward. So prayers for Aletha Holiday in particular.